We're back celebrating new music with Mark Knight, his band, The Unsung Heroes. We have the latest album, Lonesome Songs. Mark, I know you got a few records under your belt. You got your home studio. Tell us about what you're most proud of, you know, with the with the unit that you have together and this latest recording. Do you feel that you're growing, getting better at your craft? Absolutely. Yeah. I think this is probably my best work I've ever done. Um, you know, I had full control over this one. Um, basically, you know, I played all the guitar parts and wrote all the melodies and the vocals and this and that. But um, I had some help from Wayne Lothian on bass who played with um, the English beat. He uh, he came in and helped with all the bass. He's a brilliant bass player. Absolutely incredible. And then um, Adam Hamilton, who uh, was a big part of this record, he he basically um, offered his talents up to play drums. He played some um, bass on some of it. He mixed all the music at his killer studio. He, he works with LA Guns, a bunch of other bands. He's a really talented guy. And I wanted to do this kind of Americana singer-songwriter record. And we had talked about it probably for a year before we even started recording. And then I did most of the, a lot of the tracks at my house here and he lives close by. So he would help me with that and took it all to his studio. And then I brought in Tig Kettler from Bang Tango, who's played in and out of the Unsung Heroes for years. And he did uh, seven of the songs he played the drums on to uh, to the recordings that I already had done. So that was kind of a studio kind of project. It wasn't a live band, really. Um, and then after we finished that, you know, we put that out last June and it's had the most success I've ever out of all my solo stuff. So yeah, I'm happy, really happy about it. Yeah. And and where do you feel the natural progression is now that you've got this uh, under your belt? Where do you feel the next songs, the next step will take you? Let's see. Well, so basically the unsung heroes was um, Reeve Downs from Rhino Bucket, Mark Chmalia, who played with Bang Tango for a bit, Tig and me. And this was put together in 2013. And we did the, a record called Road Sick Eyes, which was basically, there's a song called Lies on YouTube. You can check it out was our startup and it was a live band. We went in and recorded everything together as a band. And then from there, I, I did a bunch of other different variation kind of studio cats that helped me out, which I call the unsung heroes, whoever they are. Um, and I did a solo record called just Mark Knight, which is real acoustic. And then I did a, a record called um, don't kill the cat. And that was um, kind of the same kind of process with different guys. And I brought Kyle Stevens came back into the band to to go out and play that's those songs live. And then I did after that, we did Days of a Dreamer. Um, same kind of deal, different cats playing on it and different lineups. And then here we are with uh, Lonesome Songs. So so the, to answer your question, I wanted to get a group of guys again with a good live feel that could play these songs that were all on the same page. And I've done that recently. Um, with Chuck C on guitar, we brought another guitar player. We were doing a three piece for a while there. Take on take on drums, and then um, Damian Valentine on bass, who played in and out of the Unsung Heroes for years. It's this whole family tree of people I play with, but we've got this lineup now that's just it's killer. It's the best. It's been since the original lineup of the Unsung Heroes. So to go forward, I want to do another kind of band record with everybody in the same room at the same time and. Okay take these new songs on right now i'm i'm always writing i probably have another nine or ten in the bag right now and we'll go forward with that great so evolve it get um you know more songs together get a better uh feel for you know growing your audience and standing on your own that's amazing yeah i've been doing it a long time i've been i've been pretty much solo for 20 some odd years i mean i the original bang tango broke broke up in 95 and here we are you know almost 2025 practically yeah exactly and i've been i've been doing variations of different bands running and singing my own bands writing my own music it's a different trip i mean it's more singer songwriter more americana more roots more bluesy country you know whatever how however you want to like tag it you listen to it you heard it um yeah. but there's plenty of still rock rips going on and um guitar work and you know i didn't it's not like i'm playing like classical music or anything but you know it's it's changed in some of those 
some of the fan base kind of has grown with me with my music and kind of their tastes have changed too. And they like what I'm, they love what I do and they're super supportive. And then, you know, some of them, you know, want me to, you know, bash out some harder stuff still and do like that, that sound from the eighties, you know, the early bang tango stuff. And, you know, I've evolved and I, I do what I do and I don't do it for, you know, I, I do it for people, but I want to do it for myself first, as far as style. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta look forward. You gotta pass, but you try to look yeah. forward. It's just and, the type of music I like to play now. And it's not that different. I mean, it is a little bit, you know, it's not, you know, it's, it's, it's not metal. It's there's, there's no metal really a heavy edge stuff, but there's plenty of rock and riffs in it. And, you know, it's all over the place. <laughs> 